Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me on this video here. I hope all is well. I apologize, I haven't been posting too many coin roll hunting videos. Not because I haven't been hunting, I just haven't been finding. Uh, so I'm posting this video um, still in the coin, you know, realm of discussion. But um, before I get rolling here, as always, I want to thank everybody for joining me. Hope you're having a great day. Um, as you could tell uh, from the uh, the title of the video, I originally went to my local coin shop. I wanted to buy a one ounce gold coin. I wanted to either buy an eagle or a buffalo, but I just <laughs> I had a taste for a one ounce gold coin, which is rare for me. Um, but as it turns out, my local coin shop did not have any one ounce gold coins. They had uh, some tenth ounce, some half ounce, quarter ounce, but the premiums were just too high and I couldn't see myself paying that. I wanted a one ounce gold coin. So although I did not get a one ounce gold coin, what I did get was uh, some would call a bucket list coin. I'm very pleased with it. Some would even go so far to say it is the holy grail of uh, coins in this particular class. So what I got, and I'll show it to you here in a moment, I got uh, a 1916 Denver Mint Mercury Dime. Now, give you a little background on the Mercury Dime. Um, it's a key date, to say the least. Um, it's the key date in the whole set of Mercury Dimes. Very low mintage, and we'll get to that in a moment. And as I said, some call it the Holy Grail of Mercury Dimes. And uh, uh, the Mercury Dime uh, was introduced to the American public uh, back in 1916. It replaced the Barber Dime that had been in circulation since 1892. So it was the first year for this new design. Um, uh, the Denver Mint, uh, you know, started making coins, but then there was a demand for quarters and stuff, so they stopped uh, minting dimes at the Denver Mint, which is why the mintage was so low. And I'll get to that right now, actually. Uh, but again, the Mercury Dime, uh, it ran from 1916 to 1945, uh, with the exceptions of three years, 1922, 1933 and 1934. No mercury dimes were minted in that year. So that's a little bit of background on the mercury dime. So what I have here for you guys, let me get my smile face out of the way. We have, it's kind of like a top 10 list here. Those of you who remember David Letterman. Okay, this is the top 10 low mint mercury dimes. I should actually say low mintage mercury dimes, but um, and, you know, as another reference, guys, like the dimes that are in your pocket right now, like a 2016 Roosevelt dime, they make over one billion with a B. That's nine zeros. Just to give you a little perspective, you know, today's coins, they make in the billions. But again, we're talking Mercury dimes here. So the number 10 low mint Mercury dime is the 1929S with a mintage of 4,730,000. Okay, that's number 10. And number 9 on the list, we have a 1928 Denver Mercury Dime with a mintage of 4,161,000 coins. And again, like I said, in perspective, today's coins are minted in the billions. So all the coins on this list are <laughs> low mint because they're you know, basically almost 100 years old. So many of them have been melted down. And again, they're all rare. So number eight on the list is the 1931 Mercury Dime with a mintage of 3,150,000 uh, coins that were minted. Again, that's not what they're still out there. That's how many the mint made. Number seven, the 1930S 
the significant drop there. They only minted 1,843,000, uh, dropping, uh, looking at number six, we have the 1931S with a mintage of 1,800,000. So we're dropping here. At the five spot, we have the 1926S with a mintage of 1,520,000. Uh, at the number four spot, we have the 1931 Denver with a mintage of 1,260,000. And at the number three spot, we have a 1921 with a mintage of 1,230,000. Uh, the number two spot on the list, we have the 1921 Denver with a mintage of 1,080,000 coins minted. And as I said, the number one coin on this list with the low, low mintage the holy grail of Mercury Dimes is the 1916 Denver with a mintage of a mere 264,000 coins. Is all they made. Unbelievable. And it is said, it is believed, that less than 10,000 of these coins are still in existence. That really puts something in perspective for something that's like a hundred and, you know, six, seven years old or whatever. Only 264,000 were minted. And as I said, it is believed that only 10,000 exist. So I'm going to show you the coin here. Uh, it is slabbed, which means it's been graded uh, by PCGS. Uh, I'm going to cover up the grade because I'm going to give you a little background on the grading uh, and you know how coins are graded, but here's our mintage. I'm going to take that out of here for now And I'm going to show you the coin And if I can I'll try and zoom in So here it is guys 1916 It's in well, I won't tell you what kind of shape it's in <laughs> I'll show you the back here where the mint mark is. And you can see the D for Denver mint mark. Let me point it out to you here. It's going to be right to the E and 1. See it right there? That is the Denver mint mark. That's what you're looking for. So... There it is. Clearly you can see the date. Uh, you can still read all the words, liberty and God we trust. And on the back, like I said, you can read United States of America, one dime. And more importantly, you can see the D for Denver Mint Mark. So, now like I said, this coin has been graded by PCGS. And I have prepared another visual reference here for you guys. This is how coins are graded. Uh, they are graded on this scale. Um, and it's, you know, recognized around the world. Um, the, the highest uh, score, if you will, or grade a coin can get is a mint state 70. Um, that's down here. But we're going to start here up at the top. Let me just move it down here a little bit. Basically, the worst, let me see here. The worst coin you can get <laughs> is, is a POR, or a PR1. And that means that there's less than 5% of the detail shown on the coin. You know, which means you probably can't read the year, you can't read in God we trust. So that's, a, that's the bottom of the barrel. Uh, the next step up is a fair two. Um, and a fair two shows five to ten percent detail. It's a little bit higher than a pour. Um, the next step up is an AG3, uh, which stands for about good. And these coins show 10 to 15 percent of the detail. Then we move up to 
a G4 or a G6. The G stands for good, and uh, uh, these coins show 15 to 25% detail. Um, then we move up to a very good 8 or a 10. These coins show 25 to 40% detail. Uh, next, we move up to a fine, fine 12 and 15, where 40 to 60% of the details are shown. Then we move up to a very fine, there's a couple of numbers that go with a very fine coin. There's a 20, a 25, a 30, and a 35, and a very fine coin shows 60 to 85% uh, the detail. Uh, then we move up to an extremely fine, and uh, those numbers are 40 to 45, and extremely fine show 85 to 95 percent uh, detail. Then we go to an AU 50, 53, 55, 58. Uh, that's about uncirculated, and uh, they show about 95 percent of the detail. Then we get into our mint state, uh, MS 60 to 70. Uh, that could be MS 61, 62, 63, and those are uncirculated. So again, uh, MS uh, 60 to 70 is the highest that you can get. So looking at this coin, guys, what would you grade it? Knowing what we know, what I just showed you, um, again, you can see all the words, you can see all the dates, uh, the numbers, the detail. You can still see Lady Liberty's face, her eyes, her nose. Okay, well, without further ado, I'll show you what this thing graded at. They graded it as a very good 10. And again, uh, very good is listed here. There's two numbers it can get. It can either get an 8 or a 10. I'm glad it was graded as a 10. That's the high, uh, higher number for very good. And like I said, uh, very good coins have complete rims on both sides. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with this grade. I bought it this way. It's not like I sent it off to be graded. Um, like I said, my intent was to buy some gold, but I got this instead. Um, I'm very pleased. It will definitely go in the safe deposit box for safekeeping. And um, do you guys have any uh, rare coins, 16 Ds maybe? How did you get it? Uh, what's your grade? I'm very curious. Um, if you guys, you know, have anything like that, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, this is a bucket list coin. It is now checked off. And uh, that's going to wrap up this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little educational if you found it uh, enjoyable. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up, give it a like, drop me a comment, subscribe if you're new, and uh, we will see you at the next one, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later.